This is Colorado Zone Channel 2 News Daybreak. It is 9 o'clock, an outbreak that is not slowing down. The latest coronavirus statistics, what the U.S. is doing to help China, and a family being forced to hold off meeting their adoptive daughter coming up. I just hope and pray he comes home and we have answers soon. I think that's what everyone's hoping for at this point. A community gathering in El Paso County praying for a positive outcome, the latest on Gannon Stock, the missing 11-year-old boy. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us here on this snowy Colorado day. Meteorologist Christine Rapp standing by to tell us what we all can expect because you know you look outside yeah. like our window to the world right there. You can't <laughs> even see downtown. Yeah. I don't even know if we are supposed to be looking at downtown, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the view on a lot. Typically you'd see the the, uh, the skyline there on the right mm. is I-25 and Spear. Uh, I will say plows are out there in full force this morning. They're keeping those roads as clear as possible. Uh, but if hopefully with it being a Sunday morning, you don't have to go outside in these yeah. kind of conditions. It's cold. It's still snowing, although I will say, looking at satellite and radar, it looks like we're starting to see things lighten up just a little bit for some of us. Here's what it looks like. Of course, uh, high country still dealing with a lot of snow on the I-70 corridor all the way down into Grand Junction. Pretty much all the metro area dealing with some snow here this morning. Very light up in Fort